Yeah, having us. Uh, this is Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Conquer. Now I'm going to give a brief idea of what we are going to do in the upcoming few days in handling this particular subject, oral surgery. So as already discussed uh, in the live interaction, that uh, oral surgery has a very great importance in any sort of examination, whether it is INICET or whether it is NEET PG or whether it is any sort of exam, any sort of entrance examination throughout the world, oral surgery has great importance. And it is one of the clinical department, excluding your oral medicine, radiology, the second department which has interactions like interrelationship with many other departments. If you see your orthognathic surgeries, a combination of ortho and surgery. If you see your pre-prosthetic surgeries, combination of uh, your, uh, your prosto and your surgery and your cleft lift cleft palate is related to again ortho pedo and everywhere okay your maxillary sinus is related to anatomy okay temporomandibular joint anatomy is important local anesthesia general anesthesia related to your pharmacology so this is a subject which is interconnected or which has an interdisciplinary relationship with many other subjects and most of your questions as as, as now the trend in the last two years has changed in almost all the examinations, excluding your INICET, most of the examinations are now integrated. Okay, you have your integrated NEET exam, you have your integrated INBD examination, uh, you have your integrated, almost all the uh, like UAE country uh, trans examinations or the exam qualifying examinations uh, for your dentistry practice. Most of these got integrated. So now your learning approach should go in an integrated manner. Okay, so keeping that in the mind, so a proper, beautiful, well-organized, integrated schedule is prepared for you. I'm just going to give a brief idea of what we are going to do. So it's not oral surgery, it's integrated oral surgery. So I just want to add a word integrated because here I'm reading or making you to uh, go ahead with pharmacology. Here I'm making you to go ahead with general medicine, medical emergencies. Okay, here I'm, I'm a part of perio. Here a, a part of oral medicine radiology. Here a part of prosto. Here a part of orthopedo. Here a part of anatomy. Uh, dental anot or oral anot or oral histology so the many many other things we're going to learn in this upcoming 20 days so let's have a brief look so the first two days that is the third and the fourth december so uh we're going to move around exodontia so you can make a note as exodontia plus all the minor surgeries so minor surgical procedures are the first two days plan and the second three days that is the fifth sixth and seventh i have planned local anesthesia it means exclusively everything related to local anesthesia that is the chemistry or the clinical features everything which moves around the stuff of local anesthesia has to be done then 8th and 9th you need to go ahead with the anot and uh, the diseases and the disorders and the treatment plans case based discussions everything related to temporomandibular joint and 10th and 11th we need to go ahead with maxillary sinus first anatomy then the diseases acute maxillary sinus chronic maxillary sinus and what are the other diseases of maxillary sinus and their proper treatment plans with a proper case-based approach 12th uh, you need to handle your orthognathic surgeries cleft lift and cleft palate related stuff and the treatments and everything 13th is the pre-prosthetic surgery 14th is Orofacial infections, all your space infections, Ludwig's angina, cavernous sinus thrombosis. I mean, the infections of oral cavity which required a surgical approach will be discussed with a proper case based approach. 16, 17, 18, we're going to deal trauma, uh, your, your assessments of trauma. Uh, followed by nowadays so I can see more of questions in, in related to the grafts of course grafts is a combination of your uh, perio and oral surgery but uh, I mean the oral surgery bone grafts and everything will be discussed in detail and 18th and 19th we're, we're going to deal with the recent advances and of course instruments and tubes and everything like these are the most commonly asked questions in the examination so we'll have a, a, a class on diagram based aspects that is the oral surgery instruments tubes all the emergency equipment everything so apart from that we will learn many recent advances where the questions are being thrown in the few last few years like uh, so for example it's like a piezoelectric surgery it's like a cryo surgery so there are many other recent advances diagnostic aids as well as the surgical equipment or the surgical techniques where the questions are being asked and we need to focus on such areas regularly these areas are 
neglected in most of the MCQ, MCQ books, uh, the basic MCQ books, what you're going through, but make it out these are very, very important in examination point of view. And of course, if you see the, uh, the, the syllabus of oral surgery according to the DCA protocols, okay? So medical emergencies has a great waiter. So medical emergencies has a great waiters in your oral surgery. And of course, you need to go ahead and handle most of your medical emergencies from Malmed, okay? So proper video classes were prepared from Malmed medical emergencies, which has a greater importance in the examinations. And 21st and 22nd, our plan is to cover general anesthesia with all the emergency drugs. So most of this 20, 21st and 22nd will move around pharma and the medical emergencies of Malamed. So you have a decent time for revision and followed by your final exam is going to be on 26th. That is post Christmas. You have your final exam on this oral surgery that's going to be on the neat pattern exclusively. So you have revision time for 24, 3, 4 and 25. So in detail, what to be done, where to be done, how to be done will be discussed on the group daily ways. So for example, exodontia, this is going to be personally posted on the group. Okay. So I mean, a brief idea, like what are the books that you need to prefer and you need to carry. So as already discussed, uh, what are the books that you need to buy for ex exclusively, specifically to oral surgery. I, I want you guys to keep these book, these two books as a reference of choice and make a note. Uh, this book is very, very important in INICET point of view. Okay, so you can keep like most of you either have done uh, uh, <laughs> Neelima Malik or uh, Balaji or Chitra Chakravarti as a choice of book in your UZ life. So any of these books you can keep as a reference, like whenever you had a doubt, whenever you are not clear with a particular concept, whenever you are not clear with a particular explanation, either in your MCQ book or either in the teaching modality, because it's not mandatory that you uh, everything should be perfect. Like you may not understand the way we approach in some cases, like in such a situation, it's better to go back to your referral book and i hope like most of you have recently finished your final year and oral surgery is, uh, is is a favorite of most of you as 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 we have discussed in the live interaction and i hope you have done it, your oral surgery at the best from your book so you can keep your book as a choice of reference like whenever you're not uh, uh, i mean like whenever you're not clear with the concept you can go back and just have a quick recap of that particular topic i don't suggest you to go ahead and read everything related to oral surgery from the book what you have done in your final year but i'm suggesting you whenever you have a doubt whenever you have a break whenever you you don't have a clear concepts about a particular topic okay i want you to suggest uh, uh, to go ahead and just have a glance over this particular topic okay so your power play book volume 5 has oral surgery content and i hope most of you uh, has submitted your uh, postal addresses and we uh, we will try our best to dispatch the books as early as possible so you can start working on power blood books also related to the oral surgery so apart from this there are few other contents which are going to be available for example like you will have a topic specific examination on the website once the topic is done for example first two days exodontia will be done so third day you will be provided access to that of exodontia so you can complete exodontia before you start the syllabus on third day finish the exodontia go through the questions like 20 25 questions then you can start the second topic that is local anesthesia so local anesthesia three days are done so on the fourth day once the local anesthesia are done you will be provided access to local anesthesia maybe a 25 or 25 to 50 questions on local anesthesia both the clinical based as well as the diagram based as well as the case based every sort of question will be provided you so that is called as a topic specific the topic specific exams the number of questions will range from uh, 25 to 50 okay so i hope you you're very very clear about this particular thing and the next one uh, on 26th december you're going to have a grand examination on oral surgery in the neat pattern hope this is very very clear and rest all secrets about oral surgery secrets about preparation secrets about notes making and everything will be discussed in person 